Apple TV. Apple TV. The Apple TV is probably the most used Apple product in my household and that's because we don't have cable and we stream every single thing and also mirror our phones and tablets. So when they announced the fourth generation, I was extremely happy and it was like a party in my pants. It features a ton of improvements including UI changes, making for a cleaner experience, no more bloatware that comes pre-installed, in fact hardly anything comes installed on this thing like Netflix, YouTube, or Hulu, all of those that already were on the third generation Apple TV now have to be installed through the App Store. And this is really, really awesome, it keeps your home screen nice and clean and the apps themselves also have had UI design refreshes. Take Netflix for example. Netflix on the Apple TV third gen was uh, meh. I mean I probably would much rather use Netflix on the PS4 any day. And that's pretty much changed with the fourth gen Apple TV. Now it almost mirrors the way the PS4 interface is and it just makes for a much better experience. The settings on the fourth gen ATV is pretty much the same. Again it looks a little bit different but functions almost identical having the same layout. The new generation also has built-in storage coming in at 32 or 64 gigabytes and in the settings you can actually manage your storage as well as look to see how much storage each app is taking. Truth be told 64 gigabytes isn't really ideal and you're just wasting your money. Unless you plan to do gaming on your Apple TV which if in that case I'd recommend the Nvidia anyways. App sizes are relatively small and you can put a shitload of apps on the 32 gigabyte model without filling it up. 
Oh yeah, and it's still 1080p, but I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. 1080p means faster streaming and it still looks damn good. You now have Siri. You pretty much use the Apple remote to tell her your commands or ask her questions. You can search for movies and it will give you the specific movie with places to view it, including Netflix database, which is really badass and awesome. Siri can give you sports information as well as weather, but as far as internet searches and answers to random questions, no, so it is limited. The remote has changed a lot too. Personally, I like it, but it definitely doesn't feel as premium as before. The ergonomics of it are pretty bad as well, and I kept wanting to use the glossy side as a trackpad instead of the matte side. I don't know. Operator error, I guess. It's boxy, and it just feels kind of hollow. It is rechargeable, though, using a lightning cable, and the buttons in the newly added trackpad work great. They're very responsive, and they give you a nice comforting click. It also has a dedicated home button that you can double press to pull up your app switcher, or double pressing the menu button will actually turn on your screensaver, and holding down the play or or pause button will put it to sleep. And one more thing, it will now completely control your TV in terms of power and volume, which is awesome. Using the trackpad makes typing on the Apple remote so much better and so much faster. Thank you, Apple. Seriously, thank you for saving me hours off my life when inputting text with this damn remote. AirPlay has been improved drastically, at least to me. I mean, I don't know if anybody else had a problem with AirPlay, but I certainly did with my third gen, and now it works fantastic. There's no more drop connections or anything like that, and I can stream my Google Play movies perfectly without any playback issues and man, it just works flawlessly and I love it. If you pair all that up with the A8 processor that's inside this thing, it's just like, damn. The new Apple TV is a beast and it's so fluid and takes home media to the next level, at least to me, since I came from the third gen, the Chromecast, and the Amazon Fire TV. Many people gave it a bad review or just a mediocre review, but honestly to me, it's been a drastic improvement over the previous generations. And honestly, this year, this is probably the most upgraded item Apple has pushed out yet, if you consider the other items they released. I'm definitely happy with my purchase and I find the 150 bucks I spent on the 32 gig model completely justifiable. I just don't see any reason to get the 64. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you sub, like, tweet, post, follow, jump on one foot, and get back at me. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.